You nearly ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I've been wearing, um, wearing thongs for two weeks. It's weird putting shoes back on. Yeah. And it's time to go back home to Australia. Let's go. Let's go! So we're super sad to say goodbye to the Philippines. It's been amazing, but we're super keen to head back home and see all our family and friends. Normally a good way to do it. Yeah. Um, Someone usually knows where they're going. There are free transfer buses between the terminals here at Manila Airport. So the domestic terminal is Terminal 4. And you need you need a bus to get to the other international terminals. But the buses only leave like every hour or so. So if you're in a rush, just go out the front and get a taxi. It's a lot quicker. Hey Josh, should we get a Lonely Planet guide now that we've left the Philippines? Like find out like all the useful information and all the like local words and stuff that we needed to know while we're there. We keep telling ourselves, oh, next trip we'll do a lot of research, we'll know everything and we just never do. That's the best bit though, isn't it? Just like figuring it out as you go and like stumbling your way along and discovering things and it's the excitement of travel. I was about to disappear like a flash. <laughs> it didn't work. So, in the last two weeks, we've caught, I don't even know how many flights. How many have we caught? We've caught London to Singapore, Singapore to Manila, Manila to Tagbilaran, Cebu to El Nido, Caron to Manila. Now we're doing Manila to Singapore and then we're going to do Singapore to Gold Coast Australia. That's eight flights in two weeks and all different airlines.
we've just come up with the best playing game in the world. You gotta look down between the seats <laughs> and see if you can see right to the end. And if somebody puts their head in and leans over or something, you lose the game. So let's play. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. We will pass the time. Look down between the seats and get excited when you can see right to the end. And we better stop because <laughs> it's a little, little bit creepy. <laughs> Try it. If you require assistance, please remain in your seat until Rough all landing. other yeah. passengers have But we're alive. Thank you for the whale Latin Pacific, a member of Value Alliance. Your cabin crew yeah, was standing before we landed the wheels to do a when the wheels came out procedure. Wheel. They like crumbled down the plane and like the plane like dropped it and it like rocked and yeah. like that. And then when we actually landed, we landed on like one side, like that, and then the other side like plunked down to the ground. We're all right. We're all right. We're, we're good. We're in Singapore now. So let's go and have fun in Singapore Airport. It's really cool. Um, Gold Coast, skate, yeah. I don't know about you, but I think that's amazing. It's captivating, you just stand there and look at it. It actually told the time at 7 o'clock. So we just went through immigration at the departures terminal. Um, to head to our gate and here at Singapore Airport you have to scan your passport then you go through an automatic gate once it's scanned and then you scan your clean thumb and I apparently have dodgy fingerprints so this has happened multiple times yeah. in it's like she's a ninja or something she just doesn't <laughs> have fingerprints so it wouldn't scan, so she called me back. I had to scan my passport again, then go through. Me meanwhile, scammer. I'm already through going, is she gonna be coming through? Yeah. Going, oh, I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, so then I tried to scan my thumb like another six times and it didn't work. And then she calls me back and I had to scan my passport again and then go through and try and scan my thumbs again. And I'm like, this is just redundant. <laughs> and then she called me back and she goes, just go to an officer, just go to a person. And I went through and I had to scan my thumbs there too. And he was like, yeah, it's fine. So it's a bit weird and a bit stressful, but we're through now and now we can relax. So Jaw has just gone into Gucci <laughs> to check how much a wallet would be with his ripped camo shorts, dirty white t-shirt, um, really ripped cons yeah. that are like, pretty much dead and the lady just came up to him and he's like yeah I'm just looking and she probably thought he was ridiculous <laughs> what was that nice yeah it's good they have wallets in there did you feel like you were the correct clientele to go into that shop obviously can't you tell by my shoes See what I mean? Can I please have some of this one? Uh, how many pieces? Um, can I just have two? Got meat, love it, it's so good. Singapore's a pretty cool 
airport, hey? I am absolutely shattered. I worked out on the plane that it's just over 24 hours total travel between leaving Caron this morning to getting to Gold Coast in Australia tomorrow morning. You know, we had to get up at 5.30 and it's now 8.30 p.m. And we've got another seven and a half hour flight and I'm shattered. Good to go. Home sweet home. <laughs> 